now, back to The Splash, live. Welcome back to The Splash Live. I'm Tyler Keith from the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show, joined by Robin Washburn out of Marion, Illinois. Robin, tell us about your art. Very interesting pieces we've got in this tent today. Well, it's copper over wood, chemical patinas, and I have a lot of different colors because of the chemical reactions. Different uh, chemicals produce different colors. And what I do is I actually paint with acid and I get layers of chemicals. And so how did you get into this? Because I, I, I never heard of combining copper and wood into making this art. Well, I started with uh, copper solid sheets. And like for now, I could a one piece of copper one foot by one foot by half inch would be 788 pounds and cost me $700 two years ago. And so because of that and the, able to get the textures and everything, I decided to put it over wood to make it a lot lighter weight. This weighs maybe a pound and a half versus 88 pounds. And at the pr same time, I could get a lot of textures. This part here was hammered with an ax. Wow. And then I do chemical patinas on top of it to get all these different colors. And then I uh, do a form fold or copper books to uh, make them a little bit more together. And so how did you get into this, Robin? Where does it start for you as an artist? I started my first oil paint when I was seven. I went from there looking for a medium because there are a lot of oil painters out there. And I started doing things like food service management where I made ice carvings. And I just kept on looking for a medium until I found copper when I was 50. And I just fell in love with copper because of all the things you could do with it. Joined by Robin Washburn at today's edition of the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show. This year's edition uh, comes back each and every year. The last weekend in July, hotworks.org is the place to go for that. And Robin, I understand it's your first time at this art show. So tell us about the experience so far. and What attracted you to come out to West Bloomfield this year? The clientele, for one. And I've been talking to Hotworks for years about doing their shows. And I finally decided to do it. I'm trying to cut down. I did 15 shows now I'm cutting down to five or six. And this is one of the ones I've added this year. So doing 15 shows, like you said, you, you've been doing that's a grind. It's a lot of getting out in the community, but it's something that I found from talking to artists that a lot of them enjoy for a variety of different reasons. What do you like about the art show scene in terms of being able to sell your art and discuss it? Well, the art fairs allow me to actually talk to the patrons. And the patrons actually get to see the work and me. And galleries, you can't do that. There's just and they're rep representing everybody else as well as me. And here I'm representing myself. And so part of your artist journey that, and you explained a little bit of this earlier, was doing a little bit of exploration, stepping outside of maybe the, the usual paths you've gone down to create art in the past. So uh, in terms of these younger artists or up and coming artists that are looking to explore maybe different mediums or different approaches to creating your art, what sort of advice would you have for them as they're make, going on that journey? Play. Find something you like to do and just play. Keep on playing with it until you fell in love with it and then do it. Robin, we appreciate it. Anything else you'd like to say about your art or about an art show experience? No. We appreciate having you on regardless. Thank you so much. Robin Thank Washburn you. out of Marion, Illinois with us at the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show. You can keep up to date with all of the artists you'll see all throughout this weekend each and every year by visiting hotworks.org. We'll take a break and come back with more. You're watching and listening to The Splash Live.